Hi, welcome to this couch. I'm Dr. Burton. And I'm also Dr. Burton. And we've been on a little bit of a hiatus, but that's just because we've been on a vacation, although just a very small one. So we've recently come back from Paris, a oh, beautiful city, and it got us thinking, where would we live if we could live somewhere else? What would be our second city of choice? So we love Paris and we highly recommend it. If you've not been, definitely go. Um, you've not lived or loved or laughed or eaten. Well, unless you've been to Paris. Sure. It's one of 10 global cities, according mm -hmm. to the Globalization and World Cities Research Network. Cut that out. Um, <laughs> so what would be your second city? So my second city would definitely be Paris. I mean, you've already <laughs> obviously mentioned some of the things there already, but it was a great family vacation. We got to go to Disney World. We got to see a lot of the Disney Bastille World. Day celebrations. And so, yeah, I had a great time and I could speak French fluently, beautifully. Don't you agree? Uh, uh, no comment. <laughs> Je parle français très bien. Je parle français très bien. Um, <laughs> so my place, well there's so many, it was so hard to pick a second one, but it would probably be San Diego um, on the condition that I could transport my whole family there because I don't have any family and it would be really hard and it's far from everyone, but it's an absolutely beautiful city. It's got the Pacific Ocean. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to be a surfer, <laughs> I think it would be a I great place. That. Yeah, I've got my visions of um, being a Baywatch babe or something. <laughs> um, and it, you know, beautiful weather, uh, really friendly people. Everyone walks around in yoga pants. Really definitely loved, um, oh God, what's the brand called? Lululemon. <laughs> Everyone walked around in Lululemon. It was awesome. <laughs> Um, and just, yeah, everyone just seemed really happy, <laughs> the neighborhoods were great, um, it looks like an awesome place to raise a family. You have a bit of urban, but it's not too busy. I think it would really lead to a nice work-life balance. I think San Diego would be my second city. Excellent. That or New York, but that's probably because I grew up watching Sex in the City and I've always just wanted to <laughs> live <laughs> my carry experience, although I don't know how that would work as a married woman and mom. <laughs> yeah, that'd be difficult. It would be. <laughs> okay. So we've named two fairly popular places that yeah. most people have already heard of. Um, however, we've also visited places that aren't as popular and we thought we should shed some light <laughs> on these sort of maybe accidental um, vacation yeah. or you know sightseeing destinations. Uh, so have you been anywhere that's not as popular, less common. Uh, so yeah, I've been to, I guess, Blackpool would be one destination that's not as popular to, to some of the folks who are watching abroad. Um, but it has a Eiffel Tower-esque uh, yeah, statue. Promote it, it's called yeah. Eiffel Tower. It's called Eiffel Tower, it's <laughs> the Blackpool 120th Tower. Uh, biggest statue or in, in, the, in the world. Uh, it's also got a Blackpool Pleasure Beach, it's also got the Blackpool Illuminations. Um, so lots of attractions, you can get candy, you can get rock. So yeah, that's one place. That... So it's a day out with your kids sorted. Exactly. How about yourself? Uh, so growing up, I've done a lot of driving in the car. We went on loads of road trips as a kid. So one of the really unpopular places, I think, uh, but I visited a few times is Minot, North Dakota. Uh, I don't really know what it's known for, other than that it had a mall, which we used to go to because they had goods that were cheaper than in Canada, and a zoo. But apparently it also has a, a largest Scandinavian population per, I don't know, square kilometer, and they've got this really big Scandinavian uh, conference every summer, or conference, festival. Okay. Um, and it's also got a very large U.S. Air Force presence, so if you're interested in U.S. Air Force stuff, <laughs> it's a great place to visit. Well, I've got another one. Grantham is another place that's really not way, no, well known, um, but it's the birthplace of Margaret Thatcher, despite your political persuasions. She's the first female Prime Minister of this country. Iron Lady. <laughs> the Iron Lady. She ruled with Iron Fist. It's also uh, a place that Sir Isaac Newton went to school. So uh, if you're into science, that's... Uh, yeah. Gravity. <laughs> Gravity is a big thing. So uh, um, yeah, that's another place that's uh, probably not on most people's um, lists of places to go, but it's a place that I visited and so um, yeah, it's an unusual, unusual spot. Uh, yeah, like I said, lots of time in cars. So I've also been to Buffalo, New York. Probably not the most popular. They've 
they got the American side of Niagara Falls, which is the worst side. Um, but they're also known for cheap shopping, which I've checked out a few times. And they've got Six Flags, which is technically not Buffalo, it's in Darien Lake, but Six Flags, if you like amusement parks, great place to go. <clears throat> okay, and uh, the last place I'd mention is Kinloch Lever, and again, a place that most people would not have heard about, but it's in Scotland. Uh, it's a great place for mountaineering, walking, pursuits. Um, we went on an expedition back in 2000 uh, and we went walking around. It's it fantastic and great. We've also got the Ice Factor there, which is the biggest or tallest um, man-made um, climbing wall that you can have in the world. So uh, it's another place you should check out. And my final place is Radium Hot Springs, British Columbia in Canada, which we got there just haphazardly because we were lost on our way to Banff. I think my dad didn't take the right exit and we ended up in Radium Hot Springs. But absolutely the best water. I was able to have a cup. I put the cup in the waterfall and I had the most refreshing drink of water I've ever had. I still remember it to this day, even though it was probably 20 years ago. And um, they've got some fantastic thermal spas, which are really cheap like really really cheap um and yeah it's just a great health experience and it's amazingly beautiful excellent so thanks for watching our third episode of this couch if you would care to like subscribe and share and please leave your comments down below and let us know where else if you've had a second city what would that be or just unusual places you've visited that aren't very popular but maybe it's worth a try for sure thanks for listening Thank <laughs> you.